this was Berlin or better yet this was just a video of a rave in a place that I don't know but I want to imagine Berlin like in, in this video anyway any Way. Berlin is one of the best destination for going on Erasmus. Whether Berlin is your Erasmus destination or we are considering it, I'm Mirko here again in the Erasmus Play Studios to provide you all the information you need to make your Erasmus experience incredible. In incredible. So, accommodation in Berlin, that's the main user. If you are wondering where it's better to live in a university reason on a shared flat, know that in Berlin you have more options available. I mean, depending on your preferences. If you choose the university residence option, note that public residences are managed by, I don't know, student, I don't know, just just put like some some stuff here, just for I don't know, just student blah, blah, blah. this 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 thing. These are the cheapest options, but as you can imagine, securing a spot can be challenging. They usually reserve a quota of spots for Erasmus students. On the other end, there there are also private residences in Berlin, but they tend to be much more expensive. So therefore, the option most students go for is living in a shared apartment, which is not as cheap as living in a in a public residence, but it's still cheaper than a the private one. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute. Soon we are going to host a webinar here on YouTube where we are going to give you all the necessary information about how to find accommodation safely in any country that you are going to. If you are watching this video and you don't see the webinar live, don't worry, we have it saved only for you. So you can watch the recording here. If you're wondering about the best areas to live in Berlin, you should know that Berlin is a huge city, but still has a very good uh, transportation network that connects the entire city. Many students want to live in the center of Berlin, but as you can imagine, it can be quite expensive. There are other neighborhoods highly appreciated by students, such as, such as, uh, sorry, I, I, I can't, I can't. Come cazzo si pronuncia questa roba che ho veramente non lo so. Come cazzo si pronuncia? Impossibile. So, French Kitchen, eh? Schonenberg e Tiergan Bertel. Yes. E Moabit. Yes, Moabit. That's what it was. Moabit, sure, for sure. It's just so clear. All these neighbors are very close to the center of Berlin and they also have a very good transportation network. And then we move on the gastronomy. Berlin is a cosmopolitan city, so it has a very rich and variety culinary scene. And I'm not saying this because I've been forced to and someone wrote this text for me. No, not at all. Really, it, um, not lying, really, not lying. I, th I generally think that German food is quite great, incredible. Here are some of the dishes that we recommend trying during your Erasmus in Berlin. The Currywurst. Currywurst. This is the most famous food street in Berlin, consisting in a sausage cut into a small pieces and coated with a um, mixture of ketchup and curry powder. And it's it's usually served with some bread and fries. Doner kebab. Berlin is full of places to eat falafel, shawarma or kebabs. And they have been very popular for several decades. Do you know that the kebab was invented there? So the things we learn with Erasmus play. The ice bind. The ice bind. Yes, ice bind. Yes. This is boiled or grilled pork knuckle. Usually served with with uh, shower cloud. Then breath, pretzel, pretzel. So I know pretzel. Just finally something that I know. This type of ribbon shaped bread can be found in bakeries, cafes, or street stalls. And finally the bullet, which I think is French, no German, which is a strange mix between a meatball and a hamburger. It's prepared with beef, parsley and onion, then fried. Some people eat it on bread, like an hamburger or like a sandwich. Erasmus parties in Berlin. And of course, bathing is another must in all of our guides. Berlin is known by many as the capital of techno and rave culture. So, so much so that uh, the city has declared 
clubs or cultural institutions. So Berlin nightlife is very diverse and you can party almost every day of your life. Entire life, your entire life just fine. So you will find parties in normal discos and empty warehouses. In any case, all kind of music are represented. So one of the most famous places for Erasmus students are Havana or Matrix Club. But if you are a thrill seeker and want to dive deep in... I can tell you exactly what. I mean, I can, but our content manager will literally kill me. But I recommend you KitKat and Bergen. But of course, Berlin is not just farting, as there are plenty of other activities that you can do. For example, on the first Sunday of each month, entry to around 60 museums is completely free. So now, cost of living. It can be said that Berlin is a cheap city, but it's true that despite being the capital of Germany, the cost of living there is lower than in other cities of the, of the country. The cost of living in Berlin for students can be reached around 800 and 900 euros per month, more or less. More or less depends on you. So, but all depends on your lifestyle. You need during your, your reference. So don't go out every day, at least try. Right. To give you an idea, a room in a shared apartment can cost around 500 and or 600 euros. Regarding transportation, you can save money by using subscriptions. Most of universities participate in the semester ticket program, which offer an unlimited transport card for the entire semester. This option is included in the tuition fee, so you probably get it for free. And there is also the Dutchland ticket, a pass that allows you to travel on regional trains through our uh, Germany and use public transportation in other cities for a monthly fee about like 15 euros. But this does not include like uh, high speed trains. Now, what to see in Berlin? What you can miss in Berlin is being honest, it's a city full of history and culture whenever you go. Here are some places that we recommend the Brandenburg Gate, one of the most recognizable landmarks both in Berlin and throughout the country. Checkpoint Charlie. This is a famous checkpoint between East Berlin and West Berlin during the Cold War. Now this is a museum on the division of Berlin. The Berlin Cathedral is one of the most representative buildings in the city. It's from the dome that you have one of the best view of the city. And of course the Berlin Wall. Although the wall was demolished in 1989, there are like some section left. So in fact the largest remaining part measuring like 1.3 kilometers long is the famous East Side Gallery where you can find very famous graffiti. And finally, Charlottenburg Palace. This place was built between 1695 and 1699 with its Baroque style gardens. And it's one of the massy stops during your Erasmus in Berlin. So one of the best aspects of Erasmus is the opportunity to travel. Berlin being in the center of Europe allows you to travel to other German cities as well as the other European cities. If you don't have the Dashlet ticket, one of the best options is travel by bus. For example, Flixbus is a company that operates in almost all Europe and it's quite cheap, so fly. And for you, just for you, pretty boy and girls with like this card on below, just our description, so check it out. But you can also travel by train or even by plane, as Berlin as uh, airport. Here are some trips that we recommend from Berlin. Hamburg, so, you know, like the, the sandwich, just the, the, the city. Less than two hours by train. It's a poor city with plenty of highlights, such as the port of Hamburg. And it's impressive near Renaissance Town Hall. Then Dresden, the capital of the state of Saxony, can be visited in one or two days, where you can see the Semper Opera or the Singer Palace. Another, although not as popular as other cities in Germany, as an, an important cultural center, where you can visit the new town hall or the Marco Plus. Prague, about four hours by bus from Berlin, is a mass visit during your Erasmus. You can see Prague Castle, the Dancing House, or the Charles Bridge. And finally, Rockland, considered one of the most beautiful cities in Poland and also known as the city of Dwarves as there are more than 300 of them scattered throughout the city. And finally, if you've made it <laughs> this far, you can leave without some tips from Erasmus Play, a better yet from me.
First of all, apply for the European L insurance card. Well, in advance, please, in advance, just in advance, just become a member of the Student Association in Berlin. And finally, the most important tip for you, just not for, for you, only for you watching this video, for you, download the Erasmus Play app to meet other students going and adding to your same destination. That's it, finally, that's it. Oh my God. <laughs> Take so long. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Eat the little bell. Just there. Just you watching. Watching the bell. Just eat it. You can be notified every time we, we post a new video. Give us a big like. Just this one. And please stop. Just adios. Hasta la vista, baby. Adios.